So, let's go over what I mean by camera angle. If the center of the camera lens is below the first highlighter, the second highlighter will always appear lower, provided both items are the same height, obviously. This is called low camera angle and has been used by photographers and filmmakers for decades to create a different mood in the scene. A low camera angle makes the subject look bigger and anything in the background look smaller. Oh my god, this chick is bigger than the building. She is huge. Oh, it's just the camera angle. Silly me. A high camera angle makes the subject look smaller than the background. So, when you're using a camera or an auto level, anything with flat earth or globe observation, understanding camera angle is critical. When using the auto level to observe drop due to earth curvature, you must ensure the auto level is at the exact same height as the first couple of markers as you can see in the diagram. These first couple of markers must be close to the auto level, so curvature isn't in play, 100 meters, 200 meters, etc. Not starting them at a mile. That way we can ensure and prove to the audience that the auto level crosshair is exactly dead center. The crosshair, in my experience, needs to be checked and adjusted before every observation, even transporting the auto level to the location can upset the crosshair. The crosshair is very easy to manipulate and it is level. Very, very tempting to slightly adjust the crosshair upwards to demonstrate globe earth or downwards to demonstrate flat earth. Please take it from me that you must not trust the auto level used by anyone. Not even a qualified surveyor, and not even a NIST world's best everything. Auto levels are designed for a maximum of 100 meters. They are not suitable for a six mile observation. If someone does do a six mile observation, then at the very least, they should demonstrate the calibration, like I have suggested for the audience, to verify that they can trust what their eyes are seeing through the auto level. In this footage, George has his auto level lower than the first marker he is observing. You can tell this while well, working out eye level from the two markers that are parallel to each other. The intersection of the bottom and tops of the markers is eye level. Why is the crosshair much lower than eye level? Well, it's because the auto level height is lower than the first marker. Now, remembering what you learned from earlier in this video about camera angle, you will now realize that the second marker will appear smaller than the first marker because George has created a low camera angle. Maybe we should call him George Lucas from now on because he does such great camera angles just like a director. In the second footage, we see the opposite. The auto level is above the first marker, so the second marker will always appear higher because George Lucas has a high camera angle. He's a movie genius. He should win an Oscar. The first marker will appear smaller than the marker behind it. Maybe George was trying to create a menacing mood to his film where the second marker was a big menacing figure. There is also another problem with using the auto level in terms of perspective. I'm currently doing some real observations to demonstrate this in the next video, but I'll leave you with a drawing that is a clue to what I'll be discussing in the next video. Thanks for watching.